Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we are doing a throwback Madden 19 pack opening. So I went ahead, I bought 10 UL fantasy packs, 10 legend fantasy packs, but we're also going to do some game changers and some elite player packs as well. Now, I do give a shout out to the Grand Goat for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Nota Gang. Now, one thing I actually do want to do is when they release the half price packs in Madden 21, which I'm sure they're going to do probably like beginning of July around there, usually like the last uh, UL drop, they tend to cut all the packs like in half. So when they do that, I kind of want to do a pack opening where we see which packs are better. Madden 19 or Madden 21, then maybe I'll hop over Madden 20 if I can get some coins, and I'll do Madden 20 UL packs versus Madden 21 UL packs. Same thing with, you know, Game Changers, Elite Player Packs, whatever, if they have it like this in 21, where they have the UL, Legend, Game Changer, and Elite Player Pack. We can kind of do like a comparison series. Something fun to do over the summer. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But this is a throwback pack opening. I honestly like doing these throwback pack openings. I think the throwback pack openings are really, really fun. You can see stuff like different pack animations. Zero chill. You get memories of cards that you used to use. Legend right here. 86 overall. Alan Page is the team of the week. 80 overall. Gates. Uh, can never remember the name of that. I know what it was though. Hall of Fame. We're getting like every promo. Ultimate kickoff, gold. Minka Fitzpatrick, 78 overall cornerback right there. Back when Minka used to play corner. We'll just do a couple more game changers. Hop into some elite player packs. And then, you know, we do have a uh, a lot. A lot, a lot of packs to get into with the UL and Legend Fantasy packs. 89 overall, Dion right there. 83 overall. I like that basically animation, honestly. It's kind of cool. Like, the just the, the red flash. I just think it's, you know, pretty basic, but... Kind of cool still. 73 overall, Ryan Switzer right there. We get a 91 overall, Alex Anzalone right there, playoff edition. And we'll do one more elite player pack. Then we'll get into the fantasy packs here. Uh, let's get a 97 Mariota. I literally didn't even recognize the animation there. Mariota, the 91 speed, 90 throw power, 96 short, 90 medium, 88 deep. Pretty nice looking card. Pretty nice looking card right there. Cool card. I remember I actually did a gameplay with that card too, and I think he was pretty good, if I remember correctly. Like, usually Mariota cards, especially uh, like Combine Warriors, whatever, usually pretty good. Round two here, we get a zero chill, 86, and 84 overall, Ryan Fitz Magic. We get a team builder, 92, okay. Another low card, Dante Fowler, full legend, 90 overall, Willie Rope. I know. Yeah, let's go with the 92. It makes more sense to do 92. But Willie Rope right there. Full legend. I love seeing like these throwback animations. Now, Madden 19, though. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Does Madden 19 have golden? No, Madden 19 does not have golden tickets. I was trying to remember what year it was that, uh, unfortunately so, got skipped over with GTs. And that's a draft player. 81 overall, Jair right there. It was actually Madden 19. They got skipped with golden tickets. And then last year, we did get GTs as get 90 overall there. Isn't it kind of weird that in round number three of this Legend Fantasy Pack, we're actually not even following Legends, though? Like, how weird is that? As you get a Jarvis Landry power-up power up animation. Also, it's kind of cool back here as well. We get an 81 low Legend. Round three. Okay, 87. There's our Legend 85. And another Legend 90 overall, Bruce Matthews. I'm pretty sure... That that one Legend Fantasy Pack didn't have a Legend in round three, right? Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, because it's Legend or Ultimate Legend. All right, makes sense there. I, for some reason, I was very confused about that, but it actually guarantees you a Legend or a UL. So, Legend Fantasy Packs, you may not actually even get a Legend player. Round two, 88 overall right there. Round three, full Legend again. 92, Donovan McNabb. I remember that card. 90 overall, Juju. Also, remember that one. Honestly, I may have to come back here and maybe do like a throwback gameplay as well. Now, given I'm not really sure how easy it would be to uh, play a head-to-head -head game, and also the teams would probably be like ridiculous, as you get an 88 overall Tyron Smith right there. We'll go with the 90 overall Terrell Suggs though. Not really too sure. 
how many people are actually playing head-to-head. -head. So maybe I will try to get a head-to-head -head game, but if not, I would just have to play one of you guys, and I'm sure you guys probably wouldn't mind that too much. Round two, getting 80 overall, 88 overall, Derek Johnson. Uh, this Team Louis Kyler, for some reason, I, I think this card used to be like a crazy budget beast for me. Maybe I'm like no money spent or something. 90 overall, Sean Taylor. The card was amazing. We get a 93 overall Shaq Mason and an 89 overall Night Train Lane. I definitely remember that Kyler card from somewhere. I I don't remember where, but maybe if you guys remember, I, I have no idea. Definitely remember that card from somewhere, though. We get Power Up Auto Graham right there. I, I guess it would only make sense to the 84 overall. Round number three, we get a 93 JJ Arcega Whiteside, and we're going to go with him. Oh, Chuck. I remember that card. That Chuck, that card was terrible. That card was absolutely terrible. I, I definitely remember that one. That was a terrible, terrible card. A couple golds here. Round two, Saquon Barkley, 79 overall core rookie. And that just brought back the memory right there. What, what is this? Football Outsider, 85 overall Aaron Jones. Wow. Okay. 85 overall Aaron Jones right there. I remember now that Saquon Barkley card as well because this was his rookie year. He had like the... Um, the rookie master card like Isaiah Simmons did this year he had a rookie master card to start off the year and I think it was an 87 I want to say 87 overall that card was so good like if you did Saquon Barkley's rookie premiere at the end of Madden 18 as soon as you logged in boom you you basically had that Saquon Barkley as soon as that set released so that was awesome Final legend fantasy pack though I'm gonna fly to this pack here round two Okay, 82 overall, Ted Hendricks, and fly through round three, nothing good, Josh Jones. All right, so those were the Legend Fantasy Packs. Now, we have the UL Fantasy Packs. Now, these are actually only two rounds here, but it is a lot of cards. Okay, I know I just did like a throwback uh, pack opening here a little bit ago, but I do not remember the UL Fantasy Packs being like this. Round number two, we get a big UL. 96 Barry Sanders. Okay, we'll take that. Also, I'm going to show you guys the team here in case you didn't see the last throwback Madden 19 pack when I did. I'll show you guys the team that we have over here as well. It's something crazy because I think I actually sold off like a lot of the cards that we had as round two. This UL fantasy pack, not that crazy. Not that crazy right there with that UL one. Eight more packs to go though. I want to see if we can pull a 99 overall. That's what I really like to get is 199 overall as getting 82 overall patrick robertson or robinson round two we get an 88 and 95 mean joe all right so we've gotten you know uh, 95 overall polls and a couple other pretty good polls as well but the elusive 99 overall is what we're chasing after here as we actually do get a 95 coin alexander round one round two heavyweight no it's, that's combine i don't know why i thought heavyweight 93 overall ghost of madden oh it's a full ul 99 rod woodson let's go man 99 overall ultimate legend rod woodson 97 speed and 98 excel great card i mean the press is kind of bad only 87 press on it. that's uh pretty low pretty pretty low uh press there block shed 61 and hit power 77 so at least we did actually get one 99 overall pulled now Let's see, maybe we can get two 96 overall Ghost of Madden Aeneas Williams right there. That card was actually uh, pretty good when he came out as well. Round two, okay, 92 Bettis, UL, big one, 95 Sean T. All right, not bad. I would love to get the uh, full UL Sean Taylor. I wonder if I can actually sell these cards. Like, would people buy these 96 Travis Frederick in round one, too? Okay, we get 82 overall Laquan Treadwell. Wow, I have not heard his name in quite a while. Round number two, 90 overall there. Big UL, 95 Mike Vick. All right, we might actually be able to get like uh, some sets done over here. Like I'm pulling like all the big pieces to these ultimate legends. We can definitely do some uh, some fun stuff over here in Madden 19. We get an 88 overall, 82 overall Deshaun Watson. Okay, round two, nothing good. And this was bad. This was really bad. Down to the final three Ultimate Legend packs. We've definitely gotten some pretty good pulls, though, honestly. Uh, I do wish that Golden Tickets were in this year. Unfortunately, they're not. 95 overall right there. We get another big UL. 96, Daryl Green. Wow. I, I actually forgot Daryl Green was actually uh, in Madden 19. 
five foot eight corner and that card was super good that card was actually really really good of course super fast as well he was very very short though so i don't think that i actually ended up picking the card because he was just so short but extremely fast good at coverage all that good stuff round two we get a big ul 96 barry and 95 tony g so is that the second 96 berry we pulled or did we pull a different berry i think i pulled another 96 overall berry so final ul fantasy pack and then i'll show you guys the team as well 81 overall coin quick sell des bryant my man des bryant 81 overall calvin ridley right there final round two 87 ul come on 96 and the final card is a 91 randy moss definitely a pretty fun pack opening and we actually got some pretty good pulls so as you guys see with the team we have ul michael vick ricky williams level master there's the saquon barkley rookie from here as well uh to 96 overall randy 96 tim Brown. as i said i did sell the team like a lot of the cards that i had over here i think i just sold them so i could do more pack openings at the end of the year uh in med 19 and then as well this is the defense obviously yeah we uh definitely did not have 93 von bell at starter strong safety like at the peak of this team this team was really really good so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below if you want to see me do another throwback pack opening and also like the comparison series i was talking to you guys about which i actually did last summer as well i did madden 19 to madden 20 now we can do madden 19 to madden 21 madden 20 to madden 21 whatever you guys want to see but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on it and of course hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time